This weekend, we'll hear Jesus tell the story of the ten virgins who are waiting the master's return uh, for the wedding feast, and five are foolish and five are wise. And so we just want to be among the wise folks who are prepared for his coming. In light of that, um, we want to thank those people who've been very, very helpful in helping us celebrate Veterans Day this past week. We had a wonderful concert on Wednesday evening with the Medina Community Band and our own adult choir and children's choir under the direction of Chris. It was beautiful. If you haven't had a chance to uh, see it, it's on our YouTube channel as well as the school uh, Veterans Day prayer service that we just finished. A lot of grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles and moms and dads were here who are veterans as the kids honored them and prayed for them. So really grateful to everybody's help in making that happen. Uh, last weekend we had uh, about 10 people brought into the uh, RCIA, the, the Rite of Acceptance, so we want to welcome all those folks who are journeying uh, through um, these days toward eventually full communion with us at Easter time. Please pray for our second graders who uh, this evening, Friday night and Saturday morning tomorrow, will be um, celebrating the f sacrament of first penance. So again, I think we've got seven priests tonight and about five priests tomorrow. So um, we pray for all their moms and dads and those who help prepare them, especially their teachers and uh, summer. So again, thanks for that. Uh, please keep in your prayers about 29 teenagers who will be out at St. Leonard's Retreat in Avon this weekend, starting uh, this evening, Friday night, going through Saturday about noon. And they'll be, uh, again, spending time with the Lord. So thank you for the core and, and Dawn for everybody who's put together this weekend. Uh, thank you for those who've brought back food already last weekend from Vincent de Paul. Again, they're collecting food again uh, at before the Masses this weekend. If you get to church too early, don't haul your food all the way up here unless it's raining. You can leave it at the bottom of the, uh, by the priest's garage where they're going to park cars and trucks to move the food over to the Randall House. I want to remind you that Monday uh, is the deadline for removing uh, decorations up at the cemetery. So if you've got loved ones' graves decorated, you want to pick that up this weekend, otherwise it's going to be removed on Monday. Thank you everyone who's been picking up tags from the Giving Tree, though it's not a tree. Three boxes, one for teen, one for youth, one for adult at each of the altar rails here on the front of left, the front right of church, and the, the back vestibule on 18. And again, um, this is just a few weeks away from We Give Catholic. So again, we thank everybody in the past who supported our school and our parish. And uh, this year, one of the things we're working toward is renovation of the church basement's um, kitchen. So looking at new stove, looking at new floor, looking at new countertops, looking at uh, rearranging the space so that there's more room to actually cook and prepare food. So we'll have more details about that in the future. And again, just thank you very much for your ongoing support. It's supposed to be cold this weekend. I'm very grateful that the heat is on and it's working. I'm grateful that they got the hot water tank, I think, fixed in the rectory. But it's about six times already woken up at 6.30 in the morning. There's no hot water. That's not a great way to start the day. And I'm just very grateful that they got the, the roof over the, the bell tower uh, fixed last weekend. And so um, I think that's everything. And I also want to thank the gardeners. So they were working last weekend, I think and during the week to kind of put all the beds and the pots and everything to bed uh, for the winter. So thank you for their, your generosity over the course of the summer, planting and pruning and making the place beautiful. I don't know what the deer are gonna eat now. We'll have to wait and see. Have a wonderful weekend.